So I'd encourage you to just um, basically just close your eyes and you know initially just begin to think about um, Jesus. You know, just begin to think about Jesus and think about his presence. Now I just want you to think about your own spirit and Revelation 3.20 and Jesus standing at the door within your heart, within your spirit and he's knocking and the handle of the door is on your side and coming around the door you can see the light of his presence and glory and just open that door by faith just reach out open the door and invite him in now as he comes through the door into your spirit I just encourage you to feel his presence how does his presence feel feel his love embrace you feel cocooned in peace and enjoy feel his embrace of affirmation that he affirms the fellowship and the relationship that you have intimacy of this moment now Jesus takes you by the hand and he leads you to one of the gateways of your spirit. And he invites you to open that gateway. And now you just stand in the gateway. And the gateways of the spirit, the gateway of hope and faith revelation of reverence fear of God intuition revelation worship and just ask him to give you revelation of that gate what is that gate how does that gate function as you make him Lord of the gate just sense what does it feel like to stand in the gateway and you can just invite his presence I just encourage you to invite him to come within your own heart to the garden of your heart just think of Psalm 23 you know the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pasture and I'd encourage you just to think about that you are lying down in that green pasture within that place of peace and rest and that secret place of your of your heart and 
as you sit at his feet he's there with you sense his presence just feel the pleasure that he feels that you are with him in that intimate place as Mary sat at his feet and, and fellowshiped and communed with him you sit at his feet within that green pasture and begin to talk to him ask him something ask him a question ask him how do you feel about me and just receive the flow of thoughts that come to your mind from his heart made in the image of God with creative ability to think creatively to feel creatively and I just want to encourage you to release the creativity of the garden of your garden and how you would like your garden to be what you would like in your garden as God brought the animals before Adam to name and to shape think of the garden of your heart and think what flowers you would like there what trees you would like there just think of the secret place that you would like to have where you encounter God in intimacy and in your mind create that place Create that place of intimacy where you can go to that secret place where no one else can be, where you can sit and where you can fellowship and commune with the Father, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit. Just think of that. Just fix your thoughts on it and let your spirit release that creativity within your own garden for your secret place. Also in Psalm 23 it talks about he leads you beside quiet waters and the river of life is flowing within the garden of your heart flowing out of heaven flowing through your spirit to bring that river into your own heart to water to bring life and energy and I just want you to think about engaging that river just as in John 4 Jesus said whoever drinks this water will never thirst again for this water will become in him a spring a fountain a source of eternal life and I want you to think of drinking that water stepping into the river feel the energy the life purity of that water just let it wash over you sense the flow let it go deep within you
Just sense how peaceful it is there. How still it is. Now just look around, just engage what's in the river. Is there anything there for you that God wants you to find? Jesus is with you. His heart's extended towards you. And he wants to give you some fresh revelation and insight. For the river that's flowing in you to flow through you to become rivers of living water that flow out of your innermost being. So just begin to sense that river flowing from your heart out through your life and forming an atmosphere of your spirit around you, that your spirit with that river enlarges, gets bigger, and begins to engage the world around you. As you become a gateway of heaven on earth as the river of life flows out of heaven through your spirit into the garden and through you to the world around you. And when you engage people today, you sense that realm of the spirit around you, that your spirit will begin to engage with people, engage with situations, that you be open for revelation that comes from that realm. Jesus would begin to bring the sensitivity to your spirit to engage with him at a different level. <laughs> 